Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Freedom Friday Hour. I'm Paul. And I'm Miss Kapow. Today's date is? June 17th, 2016. It's That's a right. Friday. Do you know yesterday was 6 16 16? Yes. So scary. Yes. So scary. Six, six. Okay, before we get going, I'm entitling this show The New Matrix. The New Matrix. Now, Brother Marcos hates that term. He hates that movie, Matrix, and for good reason. It's a Gnostic movie. It's about a Gnostic lie. But The Matrix, if you haven't seen it, you know, um, I think there's four installments of it, but, you know, the first one. Basically, people live in this simul matrix, this computer program that's called Earth. Um, I guess these fallen angels or these agents or whatever created and people are plugged into the matrix. That's a key word, plugged in. And so they, they just take the blue pill and they wake up in the morning. They don't remember anything and they just go about life. But uh, there's a character in there played by Keanu Reeves. Neo. Named Neo, who is um, unplugged from the matrix. And he takes the red pill, goes down the rabbit hole, and he learns a whole bunch from Morpheus, his uh, mentor or whatever. That's what the movie's about. It's a very Gnostic movie. And um, it's kind of like, you know, receiving higher knowledge and things like that. But that's what The Matrix is. Uh, And Brother Marcos hates that movie. He hates that term. And he says, don't even use that term. So I have to apologize to my brother in advance. I'm not using it to glory in it. But I have to call it The New Matrix because some of these stories are Mm Matrix-y. It's about that. All right. Um, One of the first things I want to mention is the... um, that men, that new Mandela effect. Mm, Those of yeah. you who um, have nothing else to do with your lives and go through YouTube videos uh, will have noticed this thing called the Mandela effect. It's the next new thing after the flat Earth people. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 some of the, it's interesting. It's fascinating. I'm one of those people that you know. Linda and I sit there and watch this stuff because it's fascinating. It's very entertaining. These these nut buckets, but um, and I, should, I to be fair, some are pretty good at putting together a program. Others are just like, oh my lord! I mean, you could just picture them in the basement mm-hmm. of their mama's house, you know, with a dead cat in the corner. I mean, you could just you could just picture these guys. Mm-hmm. They talk real creepy and everything, but. I don't want to go too much into it, but uh, if you have time, look at the uh, Mandela effect. If you haven't heard it, it's really stupid. They call it Mandela because everybody thought uh, Mandela died in prison in a certain year, but he really didn't. And Mm -hmm. I don't know, something goofy. But what they see, they see, um, they think it's CERN or Mm -hmm. some some, uh, parallel universe that's changing things. And the guys that get me, the, the ones that really entertain me and annoy me at the same time are the ones who are mixing Christianity and the Bible with this stuff. Oh, yeah. Because they... It's they, really stretching it, too. It is. And they're, they're taking scriptures and they're going, your King James Bible has changed. Mm-hmm. And they use, I think, Isaiah, the lion and the lamb. Mm-hmm. And how many people believe, you know, that lion and lamb will lay together? Well, the King James says lion and wolf. And that was changed because everybody else remembers lion and lamb. Uh, stuff like that, the Lord's Prayer, mm-hmm. debt and trespassers. There's a few other few other things that they use, and um, logos change. Well, you know, companies change mm-hmm. logos, all kinds of stuff. And one of the ones we were watching last night had said um, that song Queen, "We Are the Champions," mm-hmm. this is of the world, and that had changed. That had disappeared from mm-hmm. all videos, from everything, and only it's on the live one. Well, I went and I looked at myself. I looked it up myself, and every one that I found has "of the world" in it. So yeah, so that didn't change. I, yeah, I don't. I don't understand. I mean, it's almost like they're getting crazy. Mm-hmm. They're like the flat Earth people, where they're like deluded. It's nuts. So I I say that because that that kind of thinking and those kind of videos on the Mandela effect. Um, I mean, even countries like New Zealand has moved on the yeah. map, according mm-hmm. to them, and things like that. They they are using the term matrix again. They're starting to say matrix. And they're looking at this world or our society as a big computer program, Mm -hmm. a big simul matrix that has a glitch in it right now. And history is being changed. Um, And there's just dozens and dozens of examples because there's probably thousands of videos on this right now. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing a video on the Mandela effect. It's, It's unbelievable. Like I said, some are good, some are really bad. Kooky. Kooky. Okay, so they mentioned this matrix a lot. So that's why I'm talking about this, because the first story is going to be about Zuckerberg, and he actually mentions the matrix again. So 
it's a, a new matrix that we're oh that the people are re-exploring. It's it's quite fascinating, you mm-hmm. know. So Miss Capel's going to read a, a scripture mm-hmm. as, as she always does, but I just want to say that um, the, the the Mandela effect people are saying that certain scriptures in our King James Bible, no matter if you have a hundred year old Bible in your shelf, mm-hmm. it's your grandma's Bible. Those words have magically changed yep. because CERN has altered altered the parallel universe and we're living in a weird – there's a glitch in the, the matrix. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't happen to all of, any other version of the Bible, just the King James, and these words have been altered. That's what they're claiming. So I just – before she reads that scripture, I just want to say this morning I got up and I, and I looked at my, my 1850 – Oxford leather bound Holy Bible King James Version Holy Bible sixteen eleven, and I looked at it. And I go, there's no way this could be altered. I don't believe in a Mandela effect. And I looked at the cover, and instead of saying King James Version, it said the Rick James Version. <laughs> <laughs> She's a super freak. She's super freak. I, this, is, that, is that Rick James? I have no idea. Oh, okay, that was a joke. I needed laughter right there. Okay. <sighs> Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, I'm reading from Jeremiah chapter 9, verses 23 through 26. See, in Jeremiah was a bullfrog, but now it's changed because there's nothing in the, the scriptures that say he was a bullfrog. No. And, or was he a friend of yours? No. <laughs> He's my brother. Or he drank wine. Yeah. Okay, thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. And in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Egypt and Judah, Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab, and all that are in the uttermost corners that dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. Uncircumcised in the heart, which means they ain't being holy, following the Lord. They're attached to the might trip. They're part of the matrix. The matrix. Brother Marcos doesn't like you using that term in that respect. He and I have an understanding. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's 111. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, we are going to talk about Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg, because he says Facebook is going to be plugged into the quote unquote matrix in the future. This is creepy. Two, we're going to talk about cloned humans in space. Oh, yeah. On oh, Mars. yeah. Once we get to Mars, it ain't over, dude. There's going to be cloned humans. Canada. Canada. Canada has legalized, quote unquote, some acts with animals, sex acts with animals. I, I did a snoop.com on this because I did not believe it. It was so ridiculous. I said, there's no way this is true. It's, it's true. true. California. Cuckoo fornia. Caca fornia. You know what caca is? Caca. Dung. Caca is dung. When, when a little baby caca her pants. It's Bible dung. Caca, <laughs> caca, cal- I am so glad I don't live in California anymore. Oh, oh my, my Lord, Lord. I do not miss that. Oh, caca, California. Caca, California has a, has a new law uh, that transgender prisoners will get female items. Mm. And the taxpayers there will pay for it. Oregon. Mm. Oregon law allows non-binary, non-binary as a sex status. Yep. You're not male or female, you're non-binary. Mm-hmm. And then we'll talk about Japan's naked restaurant. And if this doesn't um, stimulate your appetite, I don't know what will. Yeah. I don't know nasty. what will. So we're going to take a short commercial break and we will be right back. Ooh. I don't know what all this fuss is about, about these pestilence. I think the scientists are doing a great job. Clueless, in the dark. <laughs> I think the government's doing a good job. Have no idea what is really going on? I have an app for that. 
Kapow Radio Show app for iPhone and iPad. Kapow Radio Show app for Android. Get the app. Get a clue. Hey, Vinny. I love politicians. I think they've got my best interest in mind. Get the app. Get a clue. FifthHookMedia.com. Hey, 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 hey! All right, we are back. Let's talk about Mark Zuckerberg. Zuck to the future. You know what he says, Ms. Capel? He says that we are going to be plunging into the matrix within the fifty next 50 years. Yes, that's what he says. And he actually uses the term the matrix. He also uses the term plugged into. And that's right out of the movie. Mm-hmm. Because these people were plugged into the matrix. They were what you would call the sheeple. They had mm-hmm. no idea what was going on around them. But those who unplug, they saw. They they're aware. See. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that kind of thing. So it's kind of interesting that he would bring this back up. Tech Titan claims computers will soon be able to read our minds and beam our thoughts straight onto Facebook. Isn't that going to be wonderful? Mm-hmm. Because already, I know most of you just enjoy everybody's comments, especially if you have some kind of Christian page <laughs> and you're trying to you know, do, do some kind of ministry with it, I'm sure you enjoy all the comments. So you can imagine when people can just beam up their thoughts about you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's going to be wonderful. you know. <laughs> okay. So here's what Zuck says. We spent the past decade handing... Oh, no, he doesn't say that. The article says this. Here's what the article says. <laughs> we spent the past decade handing Mark Zuckerberg our cherished memories, beloved photographs, and intimate details of our day-to-day lives. But that's not enough for the social media titan. He wants to get inside your brain and access your thoughts directly. Yes. Zuck has hinted that social networks of the future will be powered by telepathy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Allowing ordinary people to beam their brain waves and emotions directly onto the internet. (laughs) So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Instead of using an emoticon. He has high aspirations, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I think he does. Instead of using one of those little emoticons, you know, Mm -hmm. little happy face or little angry face, he's just like, and then I'll just beam right up to the internet. (laughs) There's angry kapow. Um, He says, many of us might think something nightmarish about a world where we're all plugged into the matrix. There it is again. Yep. Okay. Bing, bing, bing. But the billionaire has made his money from persuading huge members of people to drop their privacy shields. That's absolutely true. And share every tiny aspect of their lives with friends, strangers, and advertisers. That's right. On Facebook. And he that's and it's done that brilliantly. He says, I think you're going to be able to capture a thought and take what you're thinking or feeling in its kind of ideal and perfect form in your head and then share that with the world. Mm -hmm. That's what he said to the Washington Post. I think that's really weird. Yeah. He said there was already crazy, quote unquote, crazy scientific research underway, which could help his dream become a reality. Now, this is Interesting, Ms. Kapow, because he said government, Mm -hmm. government researchers Mm -hmm. had already worked out how to remove the memory of solving a maze from one rat's head and then implant it in another rodent's noggin. Then that mouse, without ever having been through the maze, was able to go do it. That's crazy. And then he says, that's just straight out of the matrix, right? Yep. That's the third time. That it's mentioned. Mm -hmm. That's creepy, though. It's creepy. He also discussed an experiment at Berkeley University hmm, in which researchers can predict what you're thinking about by carrying out an MRI scan. If it all sounds terrifying, then you might take a little solace from the fact Zuckerberg has at least thought about the implications of technology, which allows human beings, their minds to be read like a book. And he appears to have decided that it's best just to perform this super creepy task effectively. Here's what he says. 
there are all these ethical questions and all these interesting questions about how you do that. Well, he added, currently Facebook isn't planning to try and read users' minds. But Zuck thinks telepathy would be a reality within 50 years if the human species, if the human species survives that long. We could be living in a very scary world indeed. Well, that's a very um, scary last sentence. Yeah. If yeah. humanity lasts that long. Yeah, and he keeps talking about the matrix. He keeps talking about being plugged in. And if we're around in 50 years. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's the Zuck monster for you. Mm-hmm. Very uh, interesting. Huh, huh, huh. Next story. Next story. Will humans be cloned in space? NASA wants to grow body parts on Mars. I think it's a great idea. I really do. I saw that movie. Um, what was it? The astronaut. What's the one? Mars. The, uh, yeah, I, yeah. With um, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Mm-hmm. I no. think it's called the astronaut. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I forgot. It was a pretty good movie. Mm-hmm. He grew potatoes up there. Yep. Yeah. A little he different was- than growing body parts, but he grew potatoes up there. Yeah. Spoiler alert: He grew potatoes. But that's what they said he grew. Yeah. Exactly. Could have been body parts. But in the next ten years, CERN will have taken care of that. And we're going to see body parts. Well, in the next 10 years, the CERN will take care of those memories. And we'll say, I remember seeing that movie. But then we'll look and go, that movie never came out. It never existed. See? Like Fruit Loops. How many believe that it used to be spelled fruit? F-R-U-I-T. Mm-hmm. Well, now, because of the Mandela effect, it's fruit. F-R-O-O-T. Yeah. Fruit Loops. See. How about Pennzoil? How many people remember Pennzoil spelled with one N? Mm-hmm. Pin Zoil. Well, the, and now it has two ends. Yeah, because the matrix is colliding. Now it has two ends. Pin Zoil. <laughs> I've been watching YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been watching. I know all I, all these little things, man. You're smart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How about the Oscar Mayer song? Oh, I know. Sing it, Miss Capel. My baloney has a first name. It's O S C A R. My baloney has a second name. It's M E Y E R. Very good. And that's how Miss Kapow remembers it. My baloney has a second name, M-E-Y-E-R. But now... It's M-A-Y-E-R. Yes. (laughs) And even the old film of the commercial, the 1960s commercial Mm -hmm. singing that song, the little boy says M-A-Y-E-R. Mayer, Oscar Mayer, not Oscar Mayer. It's changed. Right. The Mandela effect. It's CERN. It's the, the parallel universes are colliding, folks. The Matrix is a glitch. Sorry, Marcos. I, I'm, I'm teasing. I'm, but that's what they say. But I make it fun. Humans will be cloned in space. They want to grow body parts on Mars. NASA has revealed it aims to grow human tissue in space to help aid the future of these space explorations. Here's the deal. They say that humans... Uh, are not going to be able to function going to Mars. So they want to create a thick and functional skin tissue that could survive off the planet. So, you know, here's what I'm suggesting, a reptilian skin, mm-hmm. a big lizard-looking thing. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just saying. There you go. The space agency is studying the health risk and improvements needed to medicine. That's That's their words. Keep space crews, who wrote this, healthy during future longer space missions. See, words are disappearing right in front of me because of yeah, the Mandela the CERN's effect. Taking it out of yeah, CERN's, CERN's taking the words out. Um, now, th- check this out. Check this out. What I discovered: NASA has worked with the Methuselah Foundation's New Organ Alliance. Wow, Methuselah Foundation's New Organ Alliance. To investigate how to improve bioengineering through a competition called the Vascular Tissue Challenge. What? This is something I would like to do. I would like to be involved in the Vascular Tissue Challenge. Yeah, I think right. I can win with my lizard skin. <laughs> but anyway, Methuselah Foundations, New Organ Alliance. Methuselah is the grandfather of Noah. Okay? Mm-hmm. So we remember the days of Noah. Yeah. What was going on. There was all kinds of stuff going on. There was a lot of wickedness on the planet. And God says, I repent myself for making these idiots. Yeah. But I don't think they named the foundation because of that. They named the foundation because 
Mr. Methuselah, mm-hmm. Noah's great uh, grandfather, lived something like 969 years. Okay. So the idea is a very Gnostic one. They want to live forever and not die. Right. That's what it is. So they're trying to sell it like, oh, we want to do this skin tissue challenge, then clone and then build so we can go to Mars. But the whole idea is to live. To live forever. Of course. They don't yeah. want to die. At least at least a thousand years. Mm-hmm. So I think it's interesting that they were named the Methuselah Foundation yep. for Noah's great-grandfather. That is it. All right. So this agency... Uh, funds three teams, and they're asked to create a metabolically functional human vascularized organ tissue that could be artificially controlled inside a laboratory. This is the challenge. Wow. Uh, so to win, teams have to produce a one centimeter thick tissue that can maintain more than 85% survival of its cells over 30 days. Kind of creepy, huh? Very creepy. NASA said that humans who will be our deep space pioneers are our most important resource on the journey to Mars and beyond, and so that's why they want to develop the skin. Now, once they get up there and they can stay up there, they're going to use this technique to then clone full-blown human body parts up in Mars so uh, they can colonize Mars. Wow. Yeah. I don't make this stuff up. That's a crazy idea. I mean, that that actually sounds like a movie. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like one of those really cool sci-fi movies. Yeah. I think that that's what they're really planning to do. It's scary. Yeah. And they're trying to uh, and they're trying to do a contest about it. Who can uh This this is going to irk your nerve. Yeah, I don't like <clears throat> this one already. This is going to irk your nerve. Canada Supreme Court. How do you pronounce it? Canada. Canada's Supreme Court legalizes some some sex acts with animals. I said, there's no way. This is on Breitbart. I said, there's no way. I snooped it. I snooped it. Canada's highest court has just ruled that some sex acts between humans and animals are legal. What are those acts? Well, <clears throat> it'll tell you here. Well, it doesn't go to great detail, but there's there's a story behind it. In a, in a ruling, the country's high court ruled that a man, there was a man who was on trial for, check what this, this, this piece did. He was on trial for raping and sexually exploiting his own daughters. And they ruled that he was not guilty of bestiality in his acts. The man reportedly... Here's what he did. This is, quote, smeared peanut butter on the genitals of his victims. Those are his two daughters. And then he had the family dog lick it off while he videotaped the act. Oh. End of quote. Nasty. So that's. Oh, for the love of pizza. Golly, Jim. <laughs> ah. Food, Jim. That's what this. That's what this. That's what this mental giant did. So the court ruled that that act there that he did with the um, with the dogs w- was not bestiality. It, it wasn't. It didn't fall under their purview. So the convicted man took his case to the Canadian Supreme Court. Okay, demanding that the bestiality charge be nullified. And so at the end, the court had agreed. Wow. So he was convicted of raping his two daughters. Mm-hmm. And then part of that was doing this this, this bizarre peanut butter mm-hmm. uh, act with them and videotaping it. And then um, so he, t- he takes it all to the Supreme Court and they say, well, yeah, that's not bestiality. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So as a result of the rape case, the court ruled seven to one. That humans having sexual contact with animals is okay. I don't make this up. If there is no quote unquote penetration involved in the act. Oh, okay. All right. So if the animal's not penetrating the human or the human's not penetrating the animal. Then it's not bestiality. It's not bestiality. That's their definition. Yeah. Okay. That is sick. That is sick. And I'm very very disappointed in... in, uh, 
Canada Supreme Court on that. That it's Mm-mm. man. You talk about just leaves the door wide open for. You talk about falling off the cliff, to. man. In its ruling, the court decided that the legislator had not clearly defined the terms in the country's bestiality laws. And the way the statute is written should be read to only outlaw animal penetration, whether that penetration is animal to human or vice versa. Here's what they say, quote, Although bestiality was often subsumed in terms such as sodomy or buggery, Oh, he's committing buggery. (laughs) He's a bugger committing buggery. Uh, Penetration was the essence, the defining act of the offense. The court's ruling states as reported by the Independent News. The high court's lone dissenter, there's only one person who dissented. It was seven to one, Ms. Kapow. Wow. The lone dissenter said the ruling would mean open season for the sexual exploitation of animals. Exactly. You can do all kinds of stuff with animals now, as long Mm -hmm. as you don't... Penetrate. Or they don't penetrate Penetrate. (sighs) The high courts... uh, Let's see. Yeah. Acts with animals that have sexual purpose, have asexual purpose, are inherently exploitative whether or not penetration occurs. And that's the one justice that dissented. Her name is Rosalie Abella. So, you know, Rosalie had some common sense, but... The other six didn't, seven seven didn't. Of course, animal uh, rights activists, you know, aren't, aren't happy about this. They, they say the law gives animal abusers license to use animals for their own sexual gratification. Sure it does. She says this is completely unacceptable, contrary to societal expectations. It cannot be allowed to continue. Amen. And the question is troublesome here in the U.S. as well, because it divides liberals and serving as a watchword to conservatives. Okay, recently... Recently, animal rights activists in Ohio were rallying for the legislature to make it more explicit that sex between humans and animals is forbidden by state law. In April, animal activists were seen protesting at the state capitol in Columbus to raise awareness that Ohio has no law outlying sexual exploitation of animals. This happened after a 61-year-old man was arrested for committing sex acts with dogs. What I'd like to know is where's PETA in all this? Well, they're, prob- they're probably the animal activists. They don't say that they're there, but I would imagine they're probably part of that. I, you know, I don't know. But Ohio actually has no laws. Wow. It's only one of 11 U.S. states that don't have any bestiality laws on the books. Okay, so that's what you have. That's totally have. disgusting. Yeah, true story. I mean, I really didn't think that was true. It sounded very hoaxy at first, you know. Yeah, so now there's going to be animals, children, oh, yeah. what else? Yeah. But the Mandela effect, CERN's going to erase your memory. You're going to go, huh? When was gay marriage ever not cool? Uh, I saw a transgender boy today. Yes, we did. He was a big kid. He was very big. And he was dressed like a girl. He and he was. had little tight pants on and he was carrying he a purse. purse. And, and he was acting stupid with his friends. You know, mm-hmm. He was trying to get attention. Yeah, uh, and, uh, still. Yeah. At first I was irritated, but then I thought, a kid don't have a, a, you know, what chance does he have? He's just indoctrinated with this stuff day in and day out. I mean, they're just raised thinking this is normal. It's sad. Yeah, it's scary. And that's his but mesquite. Is, yeah, mesquite, and he's he's an older child. Yeah, I would say right? he was 16 but this, or something. But this lie is going with children even younger than that, oh, yeah. elementary school. Yeah. Mm. I mean, the stories that we read, they're like three, four years old. Yeah. What chance you have? It's it's terrible. Okay, Kaka, California. Kaka, Fornia. Cuckoo, Fornia. Well, this federal judge ruled California transgender inmates must get some female items. Hmm. Hmm. And guess who's paying for that? Yeah. Taxpayers. Mm-hmm. Uh, a federal judge ruled Thursday that Cucufornia prison officials must let transgender inmates have more, more female-oriented commissionary items, including nightgowns, robes, Sandals, 
cute sentence. Scarves and necklaces as part of a settlement that will make the state, or as they spell it, the stat, the first to pay for an inmate sex reassignment surgery. Okay, well, I got problems with that because scarves and necklaces can be used as weapons for one thing. I would think if you were uh, a prison guard. Right? Yeah, I mean, prison enforcement, I think that would be a big concern. And the other concern. thing is these people are in prison. Yeah. For doing stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's not a hotel. No. But guess what? The California taxpayers are going to pay for the reassignment surgery. That's right. Because remember, <laughs> well, because you your uh, sister who yeah. worked at prisons yeah. years ago yeah. were saying that a lot of them would get rearrested so they they can finish their transgender surgeries. Yes. And yeah. that was years ago. My sister worked for uh, Chino State Prison as a guard and um, and in, in the medical center. Mm-hmm. And that's what she said, yeah. They get rearrested just so they can go through the whole the tax, the, the state. Yeah, well, state pays, pays for, for the stuff. Taxpayers that's, money. It's crazy. That's insane. And now these idiots want um, foo-foo stuff? I don't think so. Yeah, it gets worse. It gets worse. California agreed in August to provide some items to transgender inmates who are housed in male prisons, aside from providing surgery to a 56-year-old Shiloh Quine. That's his new his new name. name. And, I, and, I, and I, I'm very um, angry that he would use the word Shiloh. They do that. I just read an article um, last week where a judge struck down the request of a transgender man to change his name to a female name. Mm-hmm. His first name was Rowan or something. And yeah, the judge was okay with that. He says Rowan could go either way. it's neutral. But the middle name he chose was Elijah. Or it was a she going as a man. Mm-hmm. And she chose Elijah. And he says, nope. That, that, that Elijah was one of the greatest men who ever lived. And you're not going to use that name. So yeah. I, I don't know where that's going to go. But yeah. well, I forgot what state that was in. Well, uh, it wasn't Cuckoo, California. No. That's for sure. Mm-mm. So I think they, I think that's part of the thing of mocking the things of God mm-hmm. by taking those names. I really do. Methuselah. Yeah. A Jewish magistrate, Judge Nandor Vades, decided that the policy didn't go far enough. He said transgender inmates housed in men's prisons should have many of the same items provided to female inmates. Ugh. Why? I know. Shiloh's attorneys argued that the state was keeping some items from transgender prisoners based solely upon gender norms rather than security concerns. Vadis agreed with Queen's attorneys, saying that California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation should give transgender inmates or those having symptoms of gender dysphoria in men's prisons at least some access to chains and necklaces, pajamas and nightgowns, robes, sandals, scarves, T-shirts, and walking shoes. Oh, bro. However, Vadis drew the line at bracelets, earrings, hairbrushes, and hair clips, saying those may pose some safety risks. Really? Wow. Transgender women like Shiloh shouldn't be denied items that every other woman in CDCR custody has access to. That's the legal director said that. We are pleased that the court recognizes the importance of having access to clothing and personal items that reflect a person's gender and that denying them items because someone is transgender is discrimination. And once again, like Ms. Capel says, they're in prison. prison. In California, to get to state prison, you really have to be bad. Mm-hmm. You don't just get to state prison. You go to county jail for killing people. You really have to do something bad. Yeah. Guess what this transgender man named Quinn, Quinny, is serving a life sentence for? He's serving a life sentence for murder, kidnapping, and robbery. (laughs) Murder, kidnapping, and robbery. A life sentence. Oh, my Lord. My Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Civil rights laws should not create a right to such uh, minor manners. The civil rights of prisoners are to be treated cruelly and getting down to such details goes blah, 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 blah. So moreover, the feminine items may cause problems in men's prisons. Someone said sexual assault does happen in prison. It's a a major problem. And certainly people who have a feminine appearance are likely to be more targets. But they want that. Mm -hmm. That's how they get cigarettes and stuff. That's what they do. They are the, the women in that situation. So... Um, I, I, I just the, the the issue is is 
Come on. I know. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> you know. So it's a good thing Zuckerberg, I don't have my thoughts projected onto the internet yeah. right now. Because people would be like, oh my lord, <laughs> he thinks bad thoughts. <laughs> He says bad things in his head. You'd have those really bad bubble head oh, thoughts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Going, oh, my Lord. He said that. I'm so offended. Okay. I'll get the eraser. <laughs> get the Matrix eraser. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't say it. He didn't say it. Okay, here's another crazy state. Oregon. God. I think Oregon is basically Northern California. Yeah, with, so they're very trees. liberal. And- yeah. Oregon court allows a person to change sex from female to non-binary. Non-binary. So look she's at the, neither male nor female. No. There's a picture of this thing. thing. It looks like a guy. I think it's a guy that they're calling a female. I don't think it is a well it has I don't know what it is. It's very it, you know what? It's Baphomet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yes. identify as Baphomet. Exactly. That's that's what it is. It's a Baphomet. It's, You're absolutely mm-hmm. right. It's it's You're it's absolutely right. It's an androgynous, uh, satanic Baphomet, and that's what people are becoming. They're identifying as Baphomet, and that's the spirit that lives in them. Yeah, yeah. They Great. got the Baffy. They got the Baffy going on. The Baff Deem. The Baff Deem. An Oregon judge ruled last Friday that a transgender person can legally change their sex to non-binary. Rather than male or female, and what legal experts believe is the first in the United States. Oh, goody. You should be so proud of yourselves. Uh, Multnomah, Multnomah County Circuit Court Judge Amy Holmes, Amy Holmes Hen, <laughs> legally changed a fifth, the guy's 52 years old, Jamie Shoup, that was, uh, that's its name, it's sex from female to non binary. I'm non-binary. Uh, some person from the director of Basic Rights Oregon called the ruling a momentous day for gender queer Oregonians. Gender queer Oregonians. Wow, that's a mouthful. It's time to move. It's time to move. But see, the thing is, you can't get away from that stuff. You can't. We I just mean, saw we it here yeah, in Mesquite. Exactly. That's you know exactly what I was going to say. You know, there's 16,000 people. words, but that's yeah. all. Yeah, you can't get away from it. Right now, I feel very non-binary. You know, I, I, I just, I feel neither. I'm just, I just exist. What? You're not a Baphomet. No, I'm not. It's really exciting for the courts to actually recognize what we know to be true. Hmm. Gender is a spectrum. Hmm. Some people don't identify as male or female. Did you know that gender was a spectrum? No. I didn't know that. See, in spectrum, I see it with the rainbow. I see, yeah. I see colors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I you see, see where I see that gay. is? It's yeah. just blended all into one. Yeah. Yeah. Shoop, an Army veteran who retired in 2000, a sergeant first class, began transitioning in 2013 while living in Pittsburgh. Shoop knew then that neither male nor female fit. Shoop chose Jamie... As a new first name, primarily because it is gender neutral name. She prefers to be called Jamie rather than by a pronoun. He says, uh, or it's, uh, I don't even know if it was male or female. I don't know what, I guess it's non binary, so it works. I really don't know what it is. It says, I was assigned male at birth, so it was a dude. Yeah. I was assigned, oh, I love this quote. I was assigned male at birth due to biology. I'm stuck with that for life. Poor baby. My gender identity is definitely feminine. Mm -hmm. My gender identity has never been male, but I feel like I have to own up to my male biology. Okay. Being non-binary allows me to do that. I'm a mixture of both. I consider myself as a third sex. (laughs) So he's a Baphomet. Okay, folks? Uh, It's Baphomet. It's a Baphomet. It's he's he's a he's a satanic goat with female breasts and a male. He's 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 androgynous. He's both male and female. He's goddess, god, little g god, little g goddess. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. I li- it's a spirit of Baffy. My f- but female and male were the uh, only legal options Shoop saw back then, so he chose female. But female never felt right. I wonder why. <laughs> Because every time he took a piss in the bathroom, he realized, hey, I'm not a chick. <laughs> I'm 
sorry, folks, for my language, but come on! <laughs> oh, you made my paper swing. And eight, that's my anger. Yeah, it's, I, it's, I'm it projecting my out here yes like into the matrix, over. my brain. Wow, that's a lot of anger, my friend. In April, <laughs> see, Ooh, I did it again. <laughs> in April, Shoop and Lawyer Lake Paraguay filed a petition with the Oregon court to legally change Shoop's sex. Oregon law allows a court to change a person's legal sex if a judge determines the person has undergone surgical, hormonal, or other treatment related to a gender transition. The law does not require a note from a doctor. <laughs> so I, they could just say they have. Yeah. That's amazing. Shoot brought letters from Oregon Health and Science University as well as the Veterans Affairs Hospital. Anyway, the sexual reassignment has been completed. Hinn wrote in the ruling, no person has shown cause why the requested general judgment should not be granted. So um, what they did is they allowed him or her it to then be binary. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And you says, know what? I never thought that was going to be an issue with humans. No. And now I, here we are. No. Six months ago, I didn't think it would be an Whew. issue. Good night. Um, Shoop said Friday the uh, the wind was liberating. I'm not under pressure anymore to conform to either thing. I could just be non-binary. Oh, wow. I guess there's... Um, there's an organization that fights for this stuff. They've they've heard from non-binary people increasingly in the last month. The Grisham Barlow School District agreed to build gender-neutral bathrooms and pay an elementary school teacher sixty grand. After the non-binary teacher complained of more than a year of harassment from coworkers, after asking to be called they. Rather than he or she. That's harassment. Wow. I'm telling you, call me what? They. Refer to me as they. Don't refer to me as a he or she. So don't say, Brother Kapow, he ate a pork pie. Say, Brother Kapow, they ate a pork pie. (laughs) Here come they. (laughs) Who's in the kitchen? That be they. See? And that screws up all the grammar that we've learned, too. They'd be crazy. There you have it. They'd be off his rocker. Oh, Lord. Ebonics has returned. <laughs> yeah, with a purpose. <laughs> wow. She, she won 60 grand because that was considered harassment. Hmm, people can make kinds of, all kinds of I want to be called they because I'm non-binary. I don't think they even fits a non-binary. I think a non-binary person should be called a nano. Pass the paper to Nano. Here comes Nano. Who's in the kitchen? Nano in the kitchen. Mm, who's in the house? Nano. I don't like it. It means I'm a non-person. You know what? It's crazy. Are they going to grow these kind of people on Mars? Oh, you betcha. With the lizard skin. You betcha. See, my Rick James version of the Bible talks about this. The mm. King James does it, but my Rick James does. That's right. That's mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. It's got a. It's all in your little pea brain right there. It's got a wicked beat, man. Miss Cabal just fall off a chair. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? Japan. Has a new naked restaurant, but it will not allow overweight people to enter in. <laughs> that leaves me out. <laughs> like well, can they, you imagine? They go, they go, dude, you're too old, and uh, no, you don't. You're not, you're not age. Fitting. <laughs> as long as you're not overweight, you can uh, be you can be stocky, or you can be like you know a little doughy. Yeah, but you well, can't be overweight. You can't have that subjective. blubber just flow. Uh, it's kind of a subjective subjective thing. Weight is subjective. A naked dining experience is set to hit Tokyo Tokyo. next month. Oh, no. There go Tokyo. Here comes Godzilla. That's racist. With its own clothing free restaurant opening. Man, does that make that? My appetite is just 
Yeah. Out well, the window now. Went out the door for me. Hey, did you know that London also has a naked restaurant? Yes. it's. I guess it's doing pretty well. It's doing very well. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think they serve there? Pork chops? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny right there. Uh, you're a funny guy, Jerry. It's right there in my Rick James version. But unlike similar restaurant concepts that recently launched in London and Melbourne, Australia. Oh, in Australia. The Amarita in Japan plans to weigh. Oh, they're going to weigh people at oh, the door? Oh, can you imagine? And take... Oh, these me- people have no... Oh, wow. No tact. They're going to weigh and take height measurements of diners at the door. And we'll bar those Your who are BMI is 35. Out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no soup for you. Yeah. But I got the very big legs. I'm muscular. No, no. Wow. I wonder if, yeah, I wonder if they're going to do uh, fat calibers and everything, too. My goodness. Food better be good for that kind of harassment. I should say. On its website, the restaurant warns. It warns that diners who are likely to be over 15 kilograms. I don't know what that is. The average weight. I don't know what that is. Corresponding to their height should not make a booking because it won't refund entrance fees for diners that it turns away. My goodness. The Amarita will also keep the age limit to between 18 and 60. All right? So, you know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, See, no. You got to be, yeah, a really good looking 60 year old getting there, man. Unlike London and Melbourne's naked restaurants, patrons won't be entirely nude. The restaurant will hand out paper underwear bottoms because you wouldn't want to sit on the the no. booth. Can you? So the guy. <laughs> I wish I was making this up, man. I wish I didn't live in the world like this. I know this is crazy. It's going to hand out paper underwear bottoms, and its staff will wear g-string thongs or small bottoms. Rocket News 24 notes that the restaurant is offering a dinner banquet and a men's show. So this is, it's a gay restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's a gay restaurant. A men's show. Um, It's a a dance. The men's show is a dance. And it's featuring American and European male models. Now check this out. Waiters will also be men, quote, men with the world's most beautiful bodies, end of quote. Wow. <sighs> Diners will have to surrender their phones at the door. Well, where are they going to put them? In their, in their diaper? <laughs> they have to surrender their phones at the door and refrain from speaking to or touching other customers. Oh, for the love of pizza. <laughs> hey, pass me yeah, the salt. Like I'd want to touch what? a naked person. Well, hey, if you, were in a, if you were the kind of freak that would do something like this, come on. You do anything. Ahead of the Amarita's opening on July 29th, tickets are already selling fast. Check this out. The top tier ticket goes for 80,000 yen, which which is $748. $748 to eat dinner naked and see a, a, a men's review. That's gross. It's already sold out. Tickets without the dance performance go down to $131. Mm. Wow. You know what uh, disappoints me about this article? They don't say what the uh, menu is. What's for dinner? Mutton chops? Huh? I just, I just can't ba- imagine. Big, big buns? <laughs> Shall I, I go on? Sick. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. That is... Uh, Boy, that's a depressing world we live in. Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay, so that's why we entitled it the New Matrix because there's several articles there that talk up matrixy, you know, Zuckerberg, clone humans in space, you know, and then come on, all this weird sex act stuff, Canada, California, Oregon, Japan, Australia. I mean, it's just wow. It's it's just amazing. That's creepy. Amazing. Yeah, I just sometimes I just feel like I come from a different world. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you're real. No, that this world is real anymore. Does no, it? It that's seems because, like you're in a dream or something. Yeah, that's or because a nightmare. That's because say. you're in the Matrix, man. You're in the yeah. 
Well, I do. Sometimes I feel like I'm just having a really bad dream and I need to wake up. Yeah. Yeah. And then this, uh, yeah, this, these YouTube uh, phenomenon things are happening. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. we were watching the Flat Earth people there, and it was just amazing what they believe. And then now this Mandela effect uh, trend. I'm just. It's just, really like what like living in the movie Body Snatchers. You mm-hmm. know, when you saw people, you see your neighbors and your friends starting acting quirky. Yeah. And you don't really know what's going on with them. That's like it's over here. You mean you go to the grocery store, you do your business out there and stuff, but they're just some strange behavior. There is. Very, very odd. How many of you out there think uh, Snow White said mirror, mirror on the wall? I do, I do. You grew up with mirror, mirror on the wall. Well, you know, CERN changed it. The the uh, parallel universe was opened up, and now it's wherever you look that up, it's magic mirror on the mm-hmm. wall, according to... YouTubers and bloggers. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the other one? There was one. Oh, I'm not a Star Wars guy, but oh, yeah. mm-hmm. but people who are in Star Wars are like fanatical, right? So this one dude is like, "This is people. This is my 1984 VHS tape. So it's not even digital of Star Wars." And um, he goes, he goes, "I've watched it, you know, 200 times." Wasn't it 74? Wasn't it out in something 74? Something like that. Yeah, I forget. And um, we'll see because my mind's messed up because of CERN. I live in a whole different... <laughs> I'm 10 years like after. Okay. I'm like from the future, but not really. Yeah. Kind of in the past. Mm-hmm. So he watched it like 200 times. And he says the famous line, Look, I am your father. Look, you know, by Darth Vader. And uh, so he goes, he shows all these T-shirts, all this memorabilia, everything. Luke, I am your father. The, the line's even in other movies. Mm-hmm. Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. And he says, them bastards changed it. And so when he plays the tape, it doesn't say, Luke, I am your father anymore. It says, no, I am your father. Mm-hmm. No, I am your father. Which is interesting. Is it no, N-O? Or yeah. in or K-N-O-W. Um, and so he says, it's just changed everywhere. It, it's just so there's, <laughs> the weird but thing. there is crazy thing because even with uh, Gone with the Wind, yeah, you know Scarlett says something totally different yeah. that I remember her saying than what they're saying is that she said, and they actually play the clip with the new yeah verbiage on there. Yeah, so what they're saying is that every every time you go watch a Star Wars, you go and you watch that episode, that clip. Or you want it's going to have magically changed mm-hmm. the, the the words on your Bible, your King James Bible. I don't care if it's your grandma's Bible, and it has magically changed. Mm-hmm. So it's not just a digital thing; it's 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 a physical thing because the 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 universes yeah. have collided or whatever. Mm-hmm. They've opened they've opened up these deals. It's so, very strange, very strange, very strange. It really is. The other thing is um, this, this is just for giggles, just just play things. But um, one of the things they say is um, that popular show, uh, Sex in the City. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I that's how I remember that show, Sex in the City. In the City. Yeah, but when you get a DVD cover or you... No, it says re- Sex and the City. And the City. Which yeah. doesn't even make sense. Uh-huh. And the same thing with uh, Interview with a Vampire. And then mm-hmm. they show Tom Cruise being interviewed, and he actually talks about Interview... With a vampire. Mm-hmm. But now, if you look at the DVD or the movies or anything online, it has changed to interview with the vampire. Yeah. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> with all these logos and all these things are just, it's its really nuts. It's, it's really amazing. But um, some of these people have taken it, you know, to other extremes and, and they're, they're quite crazy also. Mm-hmm. Um, so you talk about a big distraction and a big weird deal you know and so you know where are you going to find this stuff in scripture well you're not in the king james but in the reek james version (laughs) the the matrix and the mandela effect all this stuff is in there it's crystal skulls and nephews and oh yeah it's great stuff all right so i'm feeling non-binary do you so yeah some alka seltzer yeah what's the opposite of non if you're going to be a non-binary would you just be a binary sure well, what if one day I feel binary? Not necessarily not because non-binary sounds so negative. Like you're a non-binary. Yeah. Well, who am I? A non-binary? I'm right here in front of you. Right. I'm, I'm binary. I'd hear me roar. 
I'm a binary. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Oregon's court went far enough. They should have taken it to the next level. Next level. All right. Miss Capel, let's say goodnight. Ciao, babies. <laughs> <laughs>